As nationwide protests against hunger and, and bad governance in, intensify in day five, mass protests escalated in Kaduna State, northwest Nigeria, as hundreds of youths, underage children, and persons with disabilities marched for change, drawing national and international attention. In the early hours, the demonstrators from different locations gathered uh, a roundabout in a dramatic show of unity and resolve. The peaceful protests gained momentum as the crowd moved towards Central Market and then to Nepal roundabout, waving foreign flags calling for intervention of prominent communist nation, citing a dire national crisis. Their chants demanding immediate action echoed through the streets in stark contrast to the president's recent speech, which they failed, which they felt failed to address their grievances of economic hardship. Our president is not doing well. Uh, we listen to what is just said yesterday at the television. Did not emphasize in what we have at the text now. Uh, at least it's supposed to reduce the price of fuel and uh, make other things affordable for the masses. Yeah, that's what we are uh, we are protesting. And uh, yesterday, this is what we like. So that's why we continue the protest today. This is not going well in Nigeria, and that's the problem. Look at the, look at the, look, look, look. Over, no less than 3,000 youths are, 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 are protesting today. Uh, it's not as if we are happy. We are not happy. Our president is not doing well. I'm not asking Mr. President. Mr. President should consider the Nigerian people. We are in the critical condition. People are suffering. No food, fuel scarcity. Fuel have gone to the higher price. Food have gone to the higher price. The president is making us to be angry. People are dying because of hungry. Let president talk and remove this one subsidy. Let president remove this one subsidy. We are looking for help from Russia. The Putin and Russian government to come to our aid. Since Tinubu cannot understand our language, we have been doing this thing peacefully, and we are still doing it peacefully, right? Yes. We are not going to. We are not going to hurt anyone, okay? But we want Tinubu to understand that men, the people are not happy, okay? The people are hungry. Okay? We need immediate plan. We don't need long term plan. Okay? And we cannot take it anymore. Okay? If President Tinubu cannot cannot what? If President Tinubu cannot hit to our Yanis, we are going to continue this protest and we are not going to stop. We are not happy. We can look at over two million Nigerian youth who are protesting in Kaduna. We are not happy. Our president is not doing well. The price of everything is very high. What we are protesting is let them bring the price of the commodity. Let it go down. We are not asking too much. Everybody are complaining. I have five kids. I cannot be able to feed them. So the youth are very complaining. As the day progressed, protests took a violent turn. Opportunities, opportunistic looters broke into both public and private properties, leading to widespread looting and destruction. The streets littered with shattered glass and debris as the once peaceful demonstration descended into chaos, calling on Russian to intervene and rescue Nigeria. Security operatives swiftly dispersing the unruly elements and preventing further escalation, but the massive turnout indicating growing unrest among the populace. The underlying issue still unresolved, which is the beginning of a prolonged struggle for change. The timely action of security operatives was crucial in restoring order and averting what could have become a more catastrophic situation. Twelve four hours curfew or 24 hours curfew was imposed to maintain a law and order. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.